Friday Night Baseball from the Bay Area and the Oakland Coliseum. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Boston Red Sox and the Oakland A's. Oakland have lost their last five games. They'll attempt to break that streak right after this. Kendall Graveman gets the starting nod for the A's in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready. Here's the first offering. This is line to left. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. If that's any indication, I think we're going to see some aggressive at bats in this one. Take the first pitch of the game? No way. He squared it up and winds up on second base after a nice line drive. Great opportunity to get on the board right out of the box. Here's Xander Bogarts now. No balls in one strike. And Dan Vero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five game slide. Yeah, Matty V, we got a couple of teams right now that haven't been playing very good baseball, D Row. One of these two teams needs to get things turned around and start things off on a good note and win the first game of the series. It just takes one W to put a good taste in your mouth. I'm, I'm telling you, I know both teams come in on a losing streak, but someone finds a gap. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Hey, now. Riding in for Boston, Mookie Betts. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. Throw to the plate. And it's a defensive meltdown there as the go ahead run scores on what should be a passed ball. The 1 0 home. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. He's taken high above the zone. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. You know, one of the things, I guess, with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. Three one. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, one thing's for sure they love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. He had over a hundred RBIs last year. That's the goal of every big hitter. If I can drive in 100, that means I had a good year, and I would say he had a pretty good year. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch of the at-bat. 
Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Here's the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. The one one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. The one two. Is looked at for ball number two. Here now the 2 2. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Fowler going back on it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Red Sox one and the A's nothing. Rick Porcello will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that has 99 career losses. The one thing I'm certain that he doesn't want to do is pick up career loss number 100 in this one here today. So it's going to be awfully important. One, that his team scores him some runs. And two, he shuts down the opponent early. Now with the play, Dustin Fowler. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch coming, here it is. Fly ball right down the line and left. Martinez has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. With that, let's look at the starting lineup for the hometown A's. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matt, you got to love what Jonathan Lucroy does for this offense. He's been a catalyst for this team in the last 10 games and in so many different ways, but looking at the one number I'm looking at, a 450 on base percentage, when you have that and you have the type of abilities that he has, you're awfully dangerous. Here's Jed Lowry now. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, I know they dropped the first three games of this road trip, but you got to find a way to shower it off. I always said that when I left the field after I took that shower after the game it's got to it's got to go down the drain that game has got to go away they find themselves in a new series right now with a chance to redeem themselves smoked on the ground up the middle throw on to first and Porcello is looking good here two away batting third right fielder striding in for Oakland Stephen Piscotti having a very nice year currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. Now the pitch. On. Strike one to start the at bat. Porcello has his target. Here's the 0 1. Grounder down the line at third. But uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. A ball and two strikes. That's back-to-back -back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now as a veteran pitcher he knows if he's going to have success in this one he's got to establish that pitch in to get those guys to respect it and open up that outer half of the plate the two two hit to third Devers gloves it throw in time and the side is retired A's are gone in order they still trail one nothing.
Riding into the box, Hanley Ramirez. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. First offering on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Past battles with Kendall Graveman, just a one for nine. Hit to short, taken in by Simeon. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, guys, so here's how the Oakland A's are lining up on defense for this one. And let's take a look at the guy playing shortstop up the shoot today, and that's Marcus Simeon. This has been a work in progress. He's had to grind, take countless hours of ground balls and work on his accuracy. But don't get it twisted. He's made some big highlight reel plays, and if you miss middle, we all know the power he has. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Eduardo Nunez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Red Sox on top in the early going. 1 0 as we play the second. Now the 2 1. Taken, strike two. Hard to attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The average not so hot down at 210 for the season. Four home runs and 14 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And it's 1 and 1. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. And I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Chopped weakly to the left. Chapman has it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Here's Chris Davis now in his career against Porcello. He's one for five. Left fielder. First pitch on its way. Takes a knee high fastball. The wind up and the 0 1. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. The one one is strike two swinging. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. And it's fouled away. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. 
So here's how the Bow Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And let's focus our attention on first baseman Hanley Ramirez. You think he can handle first? I do. He came up as a shortstop. He's also dabbled at third base. Big time power, but soft hands over at the one bag. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. The 1 0. Smoked on the ground left side. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off the torrid start. Some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. Here's Matt Joyce now, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. The 0 1 pitch. And that misses 1 and 1. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Olsen base runner at first with one out. Zero. Two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And it misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Got him seven. Now at the plate, Jonathan Lucroy comes in today, leading the American League in batting for the season. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a curveball that time that broke too low. One and no pitch on the way. And that one just missed outside. In his career against Porcello, he's 0 for 5. Two and one. Two and two now. Here's the pitch on two and two. Another slow breaking ball that misses down low. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. First and second now, one man out.
And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks at bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Next up for the A's, Marcus Semyon, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. Obviously a huge situation in the game here, but at the plate he's got to keep it simple. He can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced. At the very least, just find a way to get that tying run home from third. Missed with the breaking ball. Bases are loaded with only one out. Hit out towards second. Pedroia is able to get there to second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. Standing in, Matt Chapman, and their runners at the corners now. First pitch on its way. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here attacking the zone 0 0 and getting ahead. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. One is swung on and missed a good off speed pitch. Breaking ball that's in the dirt as he takes a ball. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. Porcello sets the 2 2 pitch. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Runners at the corners, two men out. Here's a high pop up. And Pedroia will make the catch, and the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Next up for the Red Sox, Rafael Devers. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High in the air into shallow left center. Semyon is calling for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting ninth, Blake Into the box, Blake Swihart. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hit down the third baseline. Chapman brings it in. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting number 15. Second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Dustin Pedroia. He doubled to kick off the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat, an opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate.
two out nobody on. Lays off again and it's two and zero. Oh. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this will get foul two and one. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here three and two with two away. him for strike three and that retires the side. Red Sox go down one two three after two and a half it remains a one one ball game. Up next the speedy outfielder Dustin Fowler 0 for one for him here in this one. Dustin Fowler. First delivery to him on the way. Change up in for a strike. Fowler stands in at an even six feet, throws left handed, swings the bat the same way. He was taken in the 18th round back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch down the first baseline. The 0 2 once more. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch it? unless it's really moving. Make, so that one must have had some real right. good late life. In now, Jed Lowry. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss at a ball down. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Tries to dump this one out to left. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hits. And that's exactly right what that field. was. Soft liner into left field. Nice job. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle at 0 and 1. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. Sets the target low here and it misses 1 and 1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit out towards second. But Roya has it. Bare handed for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Xander Bogarts. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Drilled on the ground to short. Simeon's there. 
throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting, right fielder, Mookie Betts. Here's Mookie Betts. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Hit hard to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he will recover in time to get it over to first. Nicely done there as they record the second out. Digging in to try it again. J.D. Martinez flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just caught the inside corner with a sinker. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Favorable call in there for a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Great arm action on that two strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Davis. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, tied one to one. Digging in for his second at bat, Chris Davis set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. First offering on its way. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. The 0 and 1 delivery. Davis connects and sends it to deep left field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. And he puts it on the ground to second. There to get it is Pedroia. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Now batting. Matt. Ready for another Joyce. chance. Matt Joyce reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. fly ball out to straightaway center and Martinez will make the catch to retire the side so they're held in check here this half of the inning on to the top of inning number five we go all tied at one and one here's Hanley Ramirez he'll get his side started in the inning and Dan so far they've been stifled offensively since the first inning boy they sure have Matt. they came out of the gates and got hot right away but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. 
when it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Into the box now, Eduardo Nunez. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. On the ground to third. And there's one down now. Riding in once again, Andrew Benintendi. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Here's the 0 1. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at 1. Ramirez, a runner at second with one away. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. The one two down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one two and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two ready with the two and two good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two how about it Raphael Devers the next to bat runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A cold strike on the inside corner. We're moving along in this one heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well. And one of the reasons why first pitch strike ratio over 70 percent up to this point in this game. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Here's a pop-up now. Chapman will put this one away, and the side is retired. Red Sox leave one. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Now at the plate, Jonathan Lucroy. He drew a walk his first time up. Catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Popped him up. Swihart over to his left. Makes the play one away. At the plate, Marcus Semyon reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Here comes the first pitch. There's a strike. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Curveball close, but it's one and one. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. 
If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he can steal some strikes that way. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. So digging in now, Matt Chapman. He popped out in his first trip. First things first, here's a throw over. And the runner back safely. From the stretch. Ripped on the ground to first. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. All tied at one and one. Digging in to try it again. Blake Swihart. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Looks at a two seamer right down the middle. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. There's that little sinker right over the outside corner. 0 and 2 count, here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. The one two. This is flared out towards second. But there to take it is Lowry as he was well positioned for route number one. Now batting number 15, second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch coming, here it is. And that pitch catches the inside corner. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Hit on the ground for the left. Chapman's got it. Throw on to first, he'll take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Digging in once again, Xander Bogarts. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Red Sox go down 1-2-3. Score remains tied 1-1. One So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate Dustin Fowler. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Hey this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years they'll tell you a well executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. And low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1-1 home. 
And he fouls this one off. Here's the one and two delivery. Popped him up. But this will land untouched. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Another one sent foul. The one two. There's a low changeup that's laid off. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the board. So both of these starters should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. Here's Jed Lowry now. As he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Up high, two and one now. Now the two one here to Lowry. Lifted down the line and left. Martinez coming on, and this will fall, but it's a foul ball. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Lifted the other way down the left field line and that will end up a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Pedroia now at second. Fielded cleanly and there's at number two. Up next for Oakland. Right fielder. Outfielder Steven Biscotti the next to hit. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Porcello into the windup. First pitch on the way. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Two out, nobody on. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Pedroia fields it cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the A's. Still tied, one apiece. Back here at the Coliseum in Oakland. All square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Here's Mookie Betts. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sinker stayed high but called for a strike. Here we go. Wait. Hit hard on the ground a second. Backhanded. 
And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. I know he didn't smoke that one from the offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning, game tied, and it's getting late. That could prove to be pivotal. Stepping in and ready for another shot, J.D. Martinez. He flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch coming, here it is. And a high strike to begin the at-bat, it's 0-1. They haven't gotten much going against this guy so far in this one. He's been pitching well. And one of the key numbers to look at, first pitch strikes over 70% so far in this outing. And this is bounced foul at the plate, and that moves the count to 0-2 now. 0-2, here it comes. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. Olsen is under it no problem one away. Now batting. Digging in and looking for more. Hanley Ramirez one for two with a double on his line thus far. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. A dive, but he's back. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. The 0-1 delivery. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. And we see some action in the A's bullpen now. It's both the left-hander and a righty that start to loosen up. Now the 1-1 one -one to Ramirez. Missed with a slider. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Bouncer up the middle. A step on the bag for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. All tied at one and one. Here's Chris Davis now. He's batting cleanup in this one, but we'll get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And a two seam fastball there, but this is chopped foul at the plate for strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. 
guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Ready once again, Matt Olson. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. One out, nobody on. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. The 2 2. Fouled away. The 2 2, one more time. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3-2. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. They would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game. I, I think they get to the bullpen by this time. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine-pitch at-bat. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Here's Matt Joyce now. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. Here it comes on one and one. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. Called strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Ryan Butcher has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 52, Ryan Butcher. Riding in once again, Eduardo Nunez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Eduardo Nunez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Softly hit out to short. 
throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And there are the final numbers for the Oakland starter, and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Lifted the other way out to left center. After it is Davis, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Rafael Devers. No hits and two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Missed with the breaking ball. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Ball and a strike. One one home is a breaking ball that misses off the plate. Bookter is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty B, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. Score remains deadlocked at one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 39, Carson Smith. Ready for another shot now. Jonathan Lucro. His last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Jonathan Lucro. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sliders in for a strike. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back to back good sliders. And this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it well, like he is, and he's confident with it, he can throw it three or four times in a row. A really good slider in this one. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. He was great all night long. Next up for the A's, Marcus Semyon, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Faces are empty. One man out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. On, 
Now the 2 1 pitch is laid off of for ball number three. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. This is on the ground over to first. Ramirez takes it in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, third baseman. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here it comes. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Now the one and one pitch. Misses. Ball two. Two one home is a swinging strike on the slider. Here now the two two gets him looking strike three. A's are gone in order. Score remains tied one to one. A look there at the Bay Bridge from the East Bay side, where we are for this one from the Coliseum right. in Hampton Oakland. Point. Emilio Pagan will be on the mound to start Number the ninth eight. inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied oh, until the bottom half. Blake Swihart will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. First pitch of the at bat. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. First two pitches off the mark here. It's two and zero. Oh. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and. Based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself at counts where he's likely to be successful. Two and one, the count to Blake Swihart. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1 0, 2 0, 3 1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90% of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Oh, he takes something off there as this is swung on and missed, and there's one gone here in the ninth. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Now here it comes. Lays off 1 and 0. One out, nobody on. Pop foul, and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats. 
the 1 1. Misses for the second ball. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will as it heads to the corner. A fair ball. And he is in the second base with one away as the go ahead run. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. That's in there. Base hit. And the go ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one makes you feel really good about yourself. Set and the pitch. And that one right down Main Street. Bogarts stands at first with one out. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Pitch out. Nothing doing. him up. Lucroy over to his right and he brings it in on the warning track. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's J.D. Martinez. As he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Pitch outside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag, anyways. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Lays off two and two now. The two two. Laid off and the count runs full. Hanley Ramirez would be next. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Struck him out, so it remains a one run lead as they head in for their final set of swing. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. Boston's out in front, two to one. 
Craig Kimball takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 46, Craig Kimball. Up next is speedy outfielder Dustin Fowler. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order bidders haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Man, I know exactly what this guy's feeling at the plate. Here we go again. Every time you're struggling, you look up, and it says 0 2. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Fastball that just misses inside. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. And it's fouled away. Try again, one, two. So two balls and two strikes now. The two, two pitch. Now a bouncing ball hit to Pedroia at second. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. The batter's number eight, second baseman. With Jed Lowry now. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Bases are empty, one man out. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Owen 2, here it comes. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. A high pop up. Devers is there and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Standing in, Stephen Piscotti, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. From the stretch. Swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Kimbrell's ready coming at it with the 0 1. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Last strike now for Oakland. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The Boston Red Sox came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Carson Smith gets the win in relief, his second of the year. 
Craig Kimbrell earns the save out of the bullpen, his seventh of the campaign. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.